it's nine o'clock in the morning and already almost 30 degrees so it's time for some cool like literally cool GoPro summer shots and I'm going to show you a few examples of shots I usually take when I'm traveling or also during summer at home so you can improve as well your GoPro summer videos. Let's start with some slow motion water jumps and these shots are some of my favorite shots to film because it's so fun to jump into the water from cliffs or bridges or wherever and it's also so fun to see those videos later on at home. So the shots you're seeing right now they were actually filmed with the GoPro Hero 2 a few years ago and a frame rate of 30 or 60 I'm not sure anymore and the other one was filmed with my GoPro Hero 3 and a uh, frame rate of 60 frames per second and they still look great nowadays so also if you have only an older GoPro you can still get those shots but if you have the Hero 7 of course you can get an extremely insane slow motion because you can set your GoPro Hero 7 to 240 frames per second and if you jump then it looks just insane so amazing so these are some of my favorite shots I usually take during summer. Let's stay in the water and let's take out our floating poles. Underwater shots look really, really cool if you are at the sea with a lot of fishes inside or other animals and clear water, of course. There is one thing I want to recommend you and that's the field of view. Change it to wide if you're filming usually in linear like me because underwater you don't see the fisheye effect. And if you're able to have a wider image then use it because you can capture more movement in your image and your videos will look more dynamic and better. So that's a cool little thing you should remember the next time you're taking your GoPro in the water. One of the coolest shots I have ever taken with my GoPro were with this torpedo you see in my hand. Inside the head there is the GoPro and then you can throw it away and you get really really cool aerial shots. Now the thing with this torpedo is that you have to repeat, repeat, repeat and repeat until you get your shot because the torpedo is spinning around in the air, some, some of the videos are vertical and you want to have horizontal videos that you have this 60 to 9 format. But it's really fun to play around with this torpedo even though if you are not getting good shots, especially if you are at the sea or a beautiful location like I was in Cuba. And by the way, I wanted to mention that all those shots you have seen so far weren't filmed with the GoPro Hero 7. They were filmed with the older ones. Only the 240 frames per second slow motion shot was filmed with the GoPro Hero 7. So if you haven't got the Hero 7, that's no problem at all. Use your older GoPros, go out and film because those shots look still great with the older ones. I still have the GoPro Hero 3 and the Session 4 and I still use them. So take your old GoPros and start filming your stuff this summer. Now if you haven't got the possibility to travel to all those locations where you can go cliff jumping or snorkeling or whatever, that's not a problem at all because you can also get really cool shots at home. For example, if you have a dog, go out with your dog and make some cool slow motion shots. This could look really really cool and if you are following GoPro's Instagram page there you see that like every week there is at least one dog picture. Or for example if you have a bike, go out cycling and take your GoPro with you. You can get really dynamic shots because you are cycling really fast that means the camera is also moving really fast and that looks just really cool in my opinion or if you like fishing then take your GoPro go fishing there you can make cool footage as well especially if you're catching something and just take out your GoPro all the time you're going outside of the house and like that you get your shots the shots you want for your summer travel videos. I think for this last point I don't have to explain you too many things, just take your camera, place it somewhere and film the time lapse. Now if you want to know more about time lapses and more details then check out my time lapse video I made, there I cover this topic more detailed and you can learn a lot, but I think for now that's enough. I know time lapses are so boring to take but you will appreciate it once you're editing your videos because the results will just look really great, especially in summer where you have the best and most most amazing sunsets. So that's it for this video, see you in two weeks and the next time I'm at a completely different location. So see you there! <laughs>